Welcome, parents. Let's talk about why you have a student at CIP. When you decided to have your student leave your home, was because you had vision for them to be happy, productive, and self-supporting. In order to accomplish that vision, working with CIP, there are certain things you can do and certain things you if you do them will actually work against what we're trying to accomplish with you for your for your student the more that you occupy yourself and move on in your life the more your student will do better and there's an emotional umbilical cord that connects you with your with your child and that umbilical cord can be can be broken by you representing that you have confidence in your son or daughter and it, when you go out and get a job or take a course at college or go on a second honeymoon with your husband or your wife and these things send a message to your student that they are now responsible for their life now obviously you don't want to just ditch your child with us but the point is that you want to show them that you have confidence in them meanwhile doing like Ronald Reagan says peace through verification you want to be working with our staff to make sure that you know Johnny is really doing and hopefully getting the kind of help that he really needs to make it on his own but the more that you try to to uh, do for them by calls by emails by um, you're really satisfying your own emotional need at that point and not helping them because they need to cut the umbilical cord and stand on your own two feet. If you have other children that are out of the nest, you'll know that they don't call you every day. They call you once a week or you see them every month. It's a lot different situation. And, they, and this is what you've been waiting for. When I went away to college for four years, I had a chance to spread my wings, get involved in student activities, um, you know, experience the world a little bit. Um, without my parents right there. And it helped me to understand what I wanted to do. I did community service. I did other things. And I learned a lot about myself and the way I wanted to be in the world. And, uh, and I never really did return home after that. So I think for each individual is a different uh, road, but generally your best thing that you can do to support your student is to let them know that you care about them as you always do send them a little bit of a you know a little package you can presence yourself without taking responsibility for their behavior and encourage them to use the the, the um the uh, staff and the uh, systems here what helped that student in high school and junior high by you tutoring them or uh, running interference with the teacher or getting them developing their social life by setting up appointments for them with friends and and getting them you know their first job or whatever is detrimental after after high school it actually can lead to uh, teaching them learned helplessness which is a real problem for our group of students so even if they're uncomfortable you have to let them feel that discomfort in order to make it on their own so one of the, I asked a few of the parents who are graduates of a couple of our centers, um, what, what can we do better? A couple parents said something I didn't expect. They said, let them struggle more while they're with you. Let them, maybe they should have less, a little bit less money, so they have to have budget. Maybe they would, um, you know, have a little bit more difficult so that when they go out, it's easier when they leave CIP. And so here at CIP, our motto is to let them do everything they can do for themselves. We don't do anything for them. We show them or help them get started, but we don't do it for them. We help them stand on their own two feet, and that's really an important part of it. And I know you've tried everything you can possibly try, and some of your students have done well in certain areas, and other ones need help in organization or cooking or academics, all different areas. So. Um, we're going to help them try to fill in the gaps where they just didn't catch it at home or just were resistant to it. But if we're working together as a team, it's going to get so much further, so much faster. Um, and it's easy to find fault with any agency or any 
psychologist or program anywhere. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I, have a, I have a critical mind and I can find something that people are doing wrong. But if you really want it to work, you have to be part of the team and so prioritize your feedback. If there's some little things that aren't working right, ignore that. And if there's something that's really important to you, like driver's ed or something that is missing, then bring that to the attention of the staff. But try to be supportive in all the other areas of what your student is doing. And they're gonna choose a track that's best for them. So when students return home for breaks, it's important that you let them start to show their new skills that they have here at the center. You need to, if you let them lay on the couch or sleep in until noon, uh, all through you know summer break or or winter break, then you're really actually you know making it worse because here at the center they're not doing that. I mean they might have difficulty initially where we have to work with them to overcome that, but most of them are up and they're doing everything they have to do at least five days a week and maybe on the weekend they're allowed to sleep in a little more, but they're still required to do weekend activities uh, that they come up with or have to pick some of ours. So for you at home, they're used to cooking, let them cook a meal, help them. Say, hey, would like me to take you to the store to buy some food, you know, what, um, and give them regular things to do. Um, the more that you, you know, you think it's a vacation, it's, it's a vacation to a certain degree, but it, for them it's more critical that they have consistency and continuity because if you just, you don't go on vacation from your life in the sense of your responsibilities. It's even more critical for them. They have plenty of good times with you. You've taken them on all over the world. A lot of you have taken your students. You've shown them a lot and taught them a lot. But now this is serious business. We want them to be really independent and uh, learn how to advocate for themselves. So they need to do it every day and they need to, just like you have to go you know, feed the dog, take the car to be fixed while you're working a full-time job. They have to learn to do all these things while they're you know, working and while they're going to school. So we do that very well at CIP. They have to do all these things while they're going to college, while they're you know, on their internship, while they're doing community service. They still have to cook, they still have to clean, they still have to take care of their responsibilities. And this teaches them what a real life is like outside of um, you know, college. Uh, a lot of them, if they went to a four-year college, would just be sitting around eating the food in the cafeteria and, and you know, playing with their computers. So it's much more valuable for them to have to take care of themselves while they're doing this here because they learn how to handle all that at the same time as going to school. Thank you so much for your support for our program and all that we're trying to do for your son and daughter. Um, we wish you the best and have a great weekend.